I don't think we really understood homosexuality, did we, when we were at school, when we were kids? I think we knew it existed. I don't think we're really aware of what it was. I think that's a shame if you've got kids, if you're ever going to have them. Just explain this stuff to them. Be honest about it. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I, I, I think that's where homophobia begins, through ignorance. But I think it's clear we didn't understand homosexuality as children from the sign we generally use as kids to indicate that a man was gay. It, it was generally that, wasn't it? That was generally... <laughs> generally the sign indicative of homosexuality, which uh, I would say shows a fairly basic misunderstanding <laughs> of the homosexual love act. I think, uh, as kids, we must have imagined if two men fell in love, they'd go to a room somewhere, take off their clothes, <laughs> stand facing opposite each other, <laughs> approximately one foot apart, <laughs> on average, and then just very gently bump the, the end of their erect penises together, over and over again, <laughs> until achieving orgasm in maybe three or four months. So it's... <laughs> it's weird, because we understood heterosexual sex, didn't we, as kids? The sign we'd use as kids to indicate heterosexual sex was that. Well, now, that's, that's vaguely accurate from, from what I recall. I don't know why I'm asking you, but I, I, guess, <laughs> I guess if we'd understood homosexual sex, the correct sign, more accurate hand sign to indicate that a man was gay. Sure, it'd be more like this, wouldn't it? It'd be more like... It's a beautiful expression of love between two people. Don't be childish about this. <laughs> but to be honest with you, that does make homosexuality look a lot more appealing than that, doesn't it? <laughs> I think, had we had the correct information, Morris would have been willing to give that guy... I thought it was that. <laughs> if I'd known it was that, I'd have tried out being gay for a couple of weeks just to see how that had panned out for me. A teacher should have come over and gone, that's not what they do, you fucking idiots. <laughs> That's what they get up to. That's, that's what they do, the lucky bastards. <laughs> Not just on their birthdays. Every day of the year. <laughs> that's better than a floppy old vagina, isn't it? Look at <laughs> Get some purchase on that, can you? That's... <laughs> to be honest, um, I don't think we really understood lesbian sex either, because the Simon used as kids to indicate that a woman was gay. It was generally... Was that? Generally was... <laughs> Again, I think shows a fairly basic misunderstanding of the lesbian love act. I think as kids, we must imagine if two women fell in love, they'd go to a room somewhere, take off their clothes, go to opposite ends of the room, <laughs> then run at each other. <laughs> vagina first, smashing their genitalia together, back, crashing their pudenda, crunching their beef curds back, <laughs> to achieving orgasm or breaking their pelvis, whichever came first. <laughs> I guess we'd understood lesbian sex. Uh, the correct sign we should have used to indicate that a woman was gay. And if you see any kids doing this wrong, sir, do go up and correct them, OK? You won't, you won't get into any kind of trouble, don't worry. So, more accurate hand sign to indicate that a woman was gay should be more like this, more like... Uh... <laughs> As is my understanding from the instructional videos I have seen, so... Uh... <laughs>